welcome to another Supreme Commander 2 cast, but you already knew that because you are so, so smart. And speaking to the smartest people, only the smartest people have hit that subscribe button and they rang that bell and they turned on all notifications to be part of the hottest Supreme Commander 2 action that this channel has to offer. It means the world to me and it's free for you. And speaking of meaning the world to me, guys, click the link down below and check out my band's latest single called Live, Laugh, Love featuring Andy Negative. It's about... Everyone's favorite freak out artist, the Karen. The Karen, you know, the people who always want to speak to your manager. So listen to it. My band's called Black It Out. Listen to Black It Out or else we'll speak, be speaking to your manager. And also, if you want to help me out even further, check out Punk Rock Radar's uh, review and vote for us because that would mean a whole, whole lot to us because they just reviewed our song Reflections featuring Promise Game. That would really, really help me out. And sorry, guys, for talking about my band so much, but I need help. And, you know, I yeah, I just need help. So, guys, thank you so much. And the map is... What map is this? Fields of Isis, traditionally. It's a 2v2 map, and that is what we are seeing here. So, Team 1 or Team... Uh, what is it? West or Left is where my cursor is going over right here. Team 2... Or Team East is where my cursor is going over right now. So let's speed this back up to regular speed. And I want to say thank you guys again for viewing this channel and listening to me talk about my band. I know lots of people either, you know what, y'all like it. That's <laughs> Of course I'm playing. But yeah, let's see what we got here. We got Fortuna spawning in as the blue Aeon Commander dropping down a tree. Ripple research station opener and then we got his air player hopefully hopefully he's going air we got Twiggy spawning in as the green sovereign commander dropping down a research station where is that air factory buddy oh goodness two research stations we'll see how that pans out for them we'll see how that works out and then we got Narok spawning in as the red UEF commander dropping down. What's he putting down? A bunch of energy generators? Oh, I think he's trying to get to the front. He's not even wasting time with, with research stations. He's just walking right to the front. And then we got I'm So Noob spawning in as the brown Aeon commander dropping down a double air factory opener and echoing all the things. So, Necro is walking up to the front slowly with energy generators. I mean, if you need energy, I think three energy generators is a bit much to begin with. But maybe he's going to go hard on Eco. <clears throat> so, just to let you guys know, the air player, this is the air player mass extractor. I'm going to pause that. This is the air player's mass extractor right here. And, and Team 2 is doing the right thing. Team 1 is going to land I don't know what to think about that Ooh, poor little engineer didn't even have a chance didn't even have a chance for a second yeah picking up engineers is the right thing to do and repairing it good job there Fortuna why didn't he oh I see didn't want to get into a power struggle there why didn't finish it off? There you go. Yeah, take out both those engineers. And... One more pass should do it. Should probably destroy this anti-air tower right there. Make your opponent waste 200 mass. Yeah, I would, I would definitely destroy that. And what is happening? Oh, that is why... He didn't build any research stations. Oh, he built them right there. He wanted to get right here real fast and be a real jerk. I don't advise doing that to Aeon. Because they can retaliate really fast. What's Fortuna going to do? I don't know what Twiggy's doing. Twiggy's not really expanding. I mean, I'm so noob is getting a research station. And that's what it was I knew was going to happen. We got Necro 
doing some MML and TML stuff, which is nasty. Probably should start building some MMLs and just destroy his stuff. Just build MMLs. Don't. What is he doing? That better be an MML coming out. Just push him in. No, don't build tanks right now. Push them in. Yeah, this is why you don't mess with Aeon, because their TML is better than your TML. By a lot. See, this army needs to be pushing in. It needs to be doing something. I can't read. On what mass? What is Twiggy doing? He should be... I mean, I guess he doesn't want to expand because of they don't have air, which makes sense. But... An engineer should be here repairing this. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter because 3 TML, it's going to destroy any factory. How'd it miss? Did it miss? Yeah, that factory's done, so. Boom! Yeah, it really need to be get done. Should have done this, like, two minutes sooner? Yeah, should have been up in his grill two minutes sooner, in my opinion. Now, PD creeping in Aeon? I don't know what Necro is thinking. PD creeping when there's TML in the on the field... It's kind of iffy to begin with. Should have pumped out all, all MMLs, and that these shields would mean nothing. You could literally ground fire right here and take down the shield. I mean, I like how Necro is, is he's he's aggressive, but this isn't gonna work. All right, maybe it's working. There you go. Got a target down. Oh, can't have your ACU just standing there, though. Oh! Yeah, was that a TML kill? I think that was TML. I think TML murdered him. That's why you don't stand around. You do not stand around... When there's TML. I mean, why would you do that? That's like a really good way to get killed. And now we have the Megalith slowly making its way across the field against an air player. I don't know how that's going to work. I mean... I'm so noob is in trouble now. He hasn't been keeping up with his factory count, which is... Oh, he's been going research real hard, which I don't really agree with. Probably should have got your factory count up and you have a bunch of air. This would be no problem if he had a bunch of air. But that's okay, I'm not the one playing this match, right? That might actually be the right thing to do, is go for the ACU. Yeah, I mean, the ACU isn't under a factory shield, not under the the shields of the adapter. Yeah, that that's 100% doable. Probably should be under a factory shield too. Stack those shields. Yeah, I don't think Twiggy's going to make it out of this one. No, no hunker either. Here we go, and... Shields going on the planes, and... Wow, this is... Maybe it's not going to happen. Well, this... It looks like, um... 
Looks like I'm some noob that has a bunch of gunships saying it will happen. And boom! Down goes Twiggy. And now, Fortuna's in danger. In a lot of danger. Transport? Wonder where he's going. Oh, he's just going to hide his ACU. Not a horrible idea. Most opponents won't think to look right here, which is a great idea. This is why Fortuna's a pro. And a bunch of research stations, which is actually the right call because the opponent is all the way over here and has a bunch of gunships. Whatever the Sea Hole is doing, it better do it now. Yeah, it's, that's too late. I'm sure there's a bunch of engineers probably minding their own business in there, playing a, playing cards or something, and now they're dead. Now, I like how I'm So Noob is expanding north. That's really good. Now, Fortuna's expanding, expanding south. That's great, too. Yeah, I should probably not build gunships or build all gunships to go after the AC, which is actually viable. That's not a lot of anti-air. Like, it's a decent amount, but a bunch of gunships with flares, it, pretty well upgraded, could punch right through this and, and take that ACU out. But a bunch of air factories are being built by Fortuna, so... We'll have to just wait and see what happens here. I'm going to speed this up just a little bit because... I mean, if he goes all gunships, he has to do it sooner, attack sooner than later because the longer I'm so noob waits, the more of an air force Fortuna's going to get. And if Fortuna gets an air force, it's not going to work. Yeah, I mean, this could be tough. Really, I'm so noob needs to start changing up his tactics. Like, maybe get a nuke? He has to get something different, because this is not going to work unless he is able to kill all of Fortuna's air. I like how he's under factory shields, though. That's really good for the ACU. I like how he's preventing... Yeah, take out that engineer. That's a, the right thing to do, for sure. Fortuna's going to attack from the back, though, which is the right thing to do as well. No, he's not. Oh, yeah, Fortuna got a pretty good engagement there. I'm so noob is taking a little bit of time to attack. I think I'm so noob is losing this one. Yeah, that's the that's the difference between having your all your air together and spread apart. If your air is spread apart, you're gonna lose the air fight. If your air is together, you have a much better chance of winning. So now I'm so noob is well, you've heard me say it before. I'm in danger. See, this is what happens. He had all this land. He had all this mass. He could have just spammed units. But now he lost air. And now all of this, all of this stuff is in danger. All of this stuff is completely in danger. And now Fortuna is able to suck up some delicious yummy yummy mass. Dat mass, yo, if he would do that, that'd be great. And then he could expand. Okay, so a nuke silo is coming. A nuke silo is in the work, so that's neat. Yeah, that happened quick, guys. That happened really fast. Yeah, let's slow this down. Yeah, that's not enough anti-air to stop this, and those gunships are just going to die. 
Probably should have hit him. I'm so noob should be building anti-air towers right now. But that's a lot of air. That's a lot of air. Fortuna has a lot of air. Should really stop production on his air units. And just build a whole bunch of anti-air towers. Get up and move. Yeah, I'm so, I think this is it for I'm so noob. Boom! And down goes a factory. And a nuke is being sent out. I don't think it's going to get there in time. And... Down goes I'm so noob, and Fortuna is the winner. Fortuna's hunkered, so that nuke isn't going to kill him anyway. Yeah, game stops. But we all know a hunkered ACU could survive a nuke blast. So that's pretty neat that there's a, a nuke right there. I mean, just chilling right overhead. That's kind of unnerving. But yeah, very well played by all players. Great job, Necros. Great job, Twiggy. Great job, I'm so noob. An amazing job by Fortuna. Really one of the best players in the world. Awesome job, Fortuna. Really great, great moves there. So, yeah, guys. Oh, yeah, thank you for sending me this replay, Fortuna. I really, really appreciate it. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, favorite because it, it helps me out. Send you good replays to steelspeaks at gmail.com, just like Fortuna did. Or join the Supreme Commander 2 Discord. Q Alpha Hex's ad now. What? You still haven't joined the biggest Supreme Commander 2 Discord in the world with over 1,000? Uh, 2,000? You have General, Hall of Fame, all the YouTube channels, all the YouTube videos, streaming, uh, don't, don't worry about that. Ask for some help, post some memes, send some replays, find a game, dead chat. We even have a channel for all the Xbox Subcom 2 players. So what are you waiting for? Click the first link in the video description or just type Supreme Commander 2 in this thing that nobody will ever use. You should join now. Click the link down below to get involved with that. And you could also send your replays by direct messaging me on Discord or going to the Supreme Commander 2 Discord server and uploading the replay and adding me there. Be patient because I check maybe once a month if I have the time. I'm doing my best. Time has been really, really hard for me. Like it's been it's been rough. But yeah, really, really, really tough. But yeah, guys, comment down below. Say something nice about the players, about the game, about my band, about me. They say something nice. We need a whole lot more positivity in this world because seriously, this world, it's, it's tough out there. It is. It is. So to make each other's lives a little bit better by saying something nice, it, it, it goes a long way, right? So let's try to make the world a little bit better by being nice. So, yeah. If you like what I do and you want to support this channel, I have a Patreon page. Click the link down below to get involved with that. I want to say thank you to, what was, what are their names? Oh, goodness, Alpha Hex and Sapphire High Noon Yasuho. Guys, click the link down below to check out both of their YouTube channels. Definitely subscribe to them. They're great guys. Have great things going for them on their YouTube channels. Thank you guys so much for keeping me motivated. And if a monthly subscription isn't your thing, you could always buy some of my band's music for, you know, a dollar or so. Anywhere music is streamed or sold, but I'm going to recommend to you Bandcamp.com because you could buy my band's entire discography for under $3. That includes our latest one, Live, Laugh, Love, as well as, uh, well, that, that one's featuring Andy Negative, as well as Reflections featuring Promise Game. So yeah, check that stuff out. And if you guys don't want to spend any money, I completely understand. You liking this video, you subscribe to my channel, watching these videos all the way through, all of Steel Speaks videos all the way through, and commenting, saying nice things, that goes a long way and helps feed the, the algorithm for this channel. Or, uh, well, also, and or you can check out my band's music, listen to it all the way through, listen to it like two or three times, our latest single, click the link down below, check it out on Spotify, of course. Or, and, and or, also check out my band's music, Black It Out, you know, check us out on YouTube, listen to my band's music all the way through, watch our music videos all the way through, like those videos, comment on them, say something nice, and all that good stuff, and subscribe to my band's YouTube channel and all that stuff, that helps me out, follow my band on Spotify, that helps me out, those are free ways to support me, thank you guys for wanting to support me and, and doing it, it means a lot. 
So yeah, I'm going to end this show with your friends, family, and foes. It's going to need something interesting to watch as well. And as always, everyone, G-G. Yeah.